Ladies and gents, welcome to a brand new Slapper. Today, we got another Valorant Mobile video. However, it is not a Valorant Mobile video, we should say. It is actually a rip-off Valorant video. Because, as some of you guys know, story time. Once upon a time, there was a game called Hyperfront. And that game was a pure clone and copy of Valorant itself. With guns, heroes, maps, abilities, everything. But on mobile, of course. That one day, Riot Games decided, that's enough. We're making our own Valorant Mobile game. And we're going to shut down anyone copying our work. And they shut down NT's game and shut down Hyperfront. But today, all of a sudden, out in the blue, Netty's Games came back with the same game with a different name known as Operation Apocalypse. And with that, ladies and gents, I'm presenting you my first reaction, first look at this game because it's only available on Android. It's not out on iOS. And with that being said, who's the best person to react to other than Pritikin, an all-time legend to the Valorant Mobile community because he's been here since day one, just like I have. But he's like the ultimate OG and we respect him more than anyone. So make sure you check him out and thank you so much for letting me react to your video. Ladies and gents, before carry on with the video, I have a quick fun fact for you. Did you guys know that most of the globe that we live in is in fact water? And back in the modern era, you had to take control of the oceans in order to gain advantage in power. So you guys can join me in now seizing this power with the sponsor of today's video, which is World of Warships Legends. A brand new mobile game, ladies and gents, which is fast paced, which we all love. An utterly explosive game of tight PvP naval combat. Of course, using the ships that made history in the modern era. From slide destroyers to hulking battleships. It's got all the details from the PC and console version and now ladies and gents officially in mobile. So you can play this beautiful game on your phone. It gets you into the headspace of a naval combat by merging tactical and strategic layers. You need to use map and knowledge or fleet composition to decide the best approach of battles. It's basically real life war but in the ocean in a video game on mobile. Makes sense? Through every fight that you will take you'll need skill, experience and confidence as it's not an easy game to dominate. You have to work your way up. And of course ladies and gents it's a touch game and it has UI specially designed for mobile. In the most important thing that I'm really happy about is that they got crossplay with console. That is insane news. But the best of the best of the best is that the game is free. What else is better than free, ladies and gents, is that you can use my link in the description to download this beautiful game. And upon using my link in the description, you get a starter pack exclusively to mobile and you will unlock a premium ship, Von Detan, seven days of premium account and tons of in-game resources and goodies. So stop what you're doing, go download this free game and thank you so much World of Warships Legends for sponsoring today's video. So the first thing that we noticed straight away off the bat is the screen. It's quite cool. It's quite similar to Valorant. I'm not going to say there's like crazy changes because it's still like a 5v5 era type of game, but we can see that it's kind of in some way anime-ish hyper made. I don't know because it's obviously Chinese version or because they made this in China. I don't know, but I know that this sort of style is what mostly appeals to the Chinese players and that's why games succeed in China and they love it. So I'm assuming that's the style they're going for to kind of adapt that sort of region. But ladies and gents, wow. First look, as you guys can see the UI, aka the HUD, the buttons, everything, the place it is perfect. I love it. Like it's kind of simplistic and it makes you like wonder what the actual game's gonna look like the official Valorant Mobile game. And guys, the game is insanely well done so far. The optimization that I'm visually looking at is insane. Holy smokes. There seems to be like not much recoil as well on these guns, which basically is accurate to the actual game. But look at a bomb or the spike, I should say. That was strange. I know it's like a massive cube box. I don't know. One thing I'm noticing off the bat is the uh, text when you hit people. I'm pretty sure that's a setting, of course, the way it shows you the numbers, the damage that you've done. Maybe that needs to lower down the opacity. It shouldn't literally like go in your eyes that you hit someone. I don't think that's to be a priority, but as you guys can see, you just pull a bunch of abilities, ladies and gents. But let's just scroll back quickly to the buy screen. Look, I'm not going to say it's a copy or not because I would love to work with these guys. So I'm not trying to make it seem like these guys are not their own game or standalone game. But what I would like to say is that it's similar. All right. So 5v5, similar game. I do like it. I honestly do like it. Honest opinions, guys. I still don't know what this ability does. Riddick is trying to figure it out himself, of course. I have it muted so you guys obviously get my commentation. Commentation? What the hell? is that word don't roast me in the comments please beautiful kill right there can you get a double of course you can i'm not gonna lie guys these may be ai bots because they suck they're standing still and of course it's the beta stage of course but there's pretty much no real players so i wouldn't be surprised if they put obviously bots in this okay these are definitely bots bro because i would have killed predicting by now like 10 times anyways little shade little shade little friendly banter but it's all good and just like that they clutch so the windscreen is nothing special it doesn't say like victory or anything like that or it does it's just chinese i can't understand really what they're saying but yeah he's gonna switch locations now go to towards the A flag. Oh, the sceneries in this map change instantly. But guys, I can't lie, man. The scenes, the graphics are too similar to Valorant Mobile so far, man. I really do hope this game succeeds in its own way. And the gun skins, bro, they're kind of clean, bro. They're animated. And you guys can see that Nantes games know how to make games. They've always have 
Oh my god, what a double kill. As you guys know, Nanty's made a lot of games in the past, and a lot of games are currently succeeding, like Blood Strike. However, ladies and gents, the most popular one that I know is Rules of Survival. Back in the day, the first Battle Royale FPS on mobile. And now it's just crazy to see how far they've come, that they're still so successful, that they're still making games, and they're still bangers, you know, people still play them. I'm really liking these new graphic changes, because like Hyperfront was like a one-to-one -one general copy, but now I can kind of see the graphics are like a bit cartoonish, does that make sense? I'm liking the vibe we're going for here. I feel like both games could survive in the same genre, but look at that knife skin oh my goodness bro holy his hands look like reina from valorant oh bro i love this this is actually so cool i cannot wait to play this and get my hands on this developers if you're watching this i know you're watching this you better reach out to me my email is in the description or message me on twitter that's where we talk business anyway back to business in the video beautiful bro pretty is actually cracked a bit man but <laughs> These enemies, man, they're not, they're not moving, man. I don't know, but the minimap is kind of cool. You guys can see, it shows everything happening. The abilities, the location of everybody, where everybody dies. If there's a shot, there's a question mark, bro. I love it. I love the information. I love the HUD. Okay, nice little headshot. I like it. 155 to the head, man. With the rifle is outrageous. Not gonna lie, but whatever. Not hating. There's three abilities on the top part of the screen. Pretty cool. And just like that, he clutched again. All right, so this is the final game. We're about to see what the final screen looks like. And that's that. That's victory. Pretty Kings is happy. Love that guy. Editor, zoom in on his face right now. Show him some love. Whoa. Not in a sus way, but there we go. Victory Royale. Beautifully done, ladies and gents. Wow. Look at this drone shot. The MVP screen. Of course, it's Pritikin himself. Just a goat, man. Holy. Man, I actually do love this, man. These graphics are so cool. It gets me excited for Valorant Mobile and gets me excited to even play this game because it's the closest we get to the actual game. I'm so hyped, man. Holy. Make sure you guys check out Pritikin. Huge shout out to you, bro. Appreciate you letting me watch this. And once again, guys, let's thank the sponsor of today's video, World of Warships Legends. Check it out. Link in the description. And leave your thoughts in the comments down below. What do you think of this game? I personally loved it. No hate. Just because it's a clone. It happens. Subscribe, guys. I'm going to see you all in the next one. Peace. Pew.